Hi, I'm Dan Corman and welcome to another Durango Real Estate Update. Today is June 4th, 2020 and boy has it been a weird year so far. As longtime champions of fair housing, it's imperative that you know that equality and inclusion are among realtors' most cherished values. So I hope you're well and weathering our tumultuous year with health, love and grace. There are a lot of moving parts in the real estate market right now, especially when looking at supply, interest rates and the tightening credit situation, as well as pricing and sales. So far, the picture in Durango has remained positive, with the La Plata County single-family home market rebounding. In the interest of time, let's take a look at the county's single-family home statistics. One of the clearest pictures painted over the last few months has been the quintessential V-shaped recovery in the pending home sales. This is also known as properties going under contract. As you can see, in mid-April, the number of homes going under contract per week took a sharp decline due to the Attorney General clarifying that realtors were not to show properties during the stay-at-home order. Pending sales shot back up once the restrictions were lifted, and by the end of May, we saw pending home sales soar above the pre-pandemic levels. Pending sales are an important metric because they don't have a lag effect like sales do, but going under contract isn't necessarily a guaranteed sale. So let's take a look at some other stats that aren't quite as stark in their statistical storyline. New listings. They're an important facet of the market as they directly correlate with the level of inventory available to consumers. This is the age-old supply and demand relationship, and due to our continued and now exacerbated constraints on supply, prices seem to be remaining stable, if not increasing a little. As you can see in this graph, we were seeing a substantial increase in inventory year over year until March. Then, new listings dropped below 2019 levels until finally recovering in the last two weeks of May. The trend line seems to be telling us that we'll be seeing lots of new inventory coming online this summer, and this is a welcomed relief for buyers trying to find that special home right now. The last single family home statistic we'll look at are the number of homes sold in La Plata County by week since February. As I've shown in past videos, we were looking at much higher sales numbers when compared to last year up until the stay at home order went into effect. The lag effect on home sales creates a little bit more of a convoluted picture, but ultimately, as you can see, we've recovered and are now at or above 2019 sales levels. I predict sales to continue pumping through fall, then it's anyone's guess as to how the market will act this winter. One of the hardest hit sectors in all of this is the commercial real estate market. This has seen both leasing and sales come to a screeching halt over the last few weeks. We're not sure as how the long lasting effects will determine future market stats, but I'll continue to monitor the climate and keep you posted. As always, feel free to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video, and you can sp send specific questions to me on any of the social media sites at the handle at Durango Brokers. Stay well, stay vigilant, and thanks for allowing me to shine some light on your greatest investments. See you soon.